Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the latest episode of this Jesus Garcia My Play Karimo guys, we're into episode number 70 here and we're just arriving here at Paris Airport where we're going to be making our way to London where we're going to be playing against our big game in the semi-finals against the big English team Chelsea guys, as you can see here, we are away from home this is the first leg in the two-legged semi-final as you can see here, the 6th of May 2020 guys Chelsea FC away from home and then we've got a game against Toulouse so we have to make our way straight back to Paris to play a game against against Toulouse and then we're going to be heading in to the home game in the next episode against Chelsea once again in the second leg and then finishing off I think the end of the season against Stadlanes on the 16th of May guys so there's only a couple of episodes left to go and there might be one more game after that I think in the league that's right there's one more game in the league after that and then the season will be finished guys so it's going to be very interesting to see how we go in this last few episodes guys and in the last episodes of the series it's going to be pretty crazy what's going to be happening in the last one which is going to be episode number 72 so make sure you stay tuned and check out for that because that is going to be a big moment in Jesus Garcia's life guys so make sure you stay tuned to get it checked out before we uh, finish the series off. As you can see here, the top goal scorers in the Champions League in Signet for Bayern Munich still up there even though they are out now. Uh, they're doing pretty well and as you can see we're not doing too bad on that one as for the assists we're doing pretty good we're in second place with four and again insignia is on top of that one as well guys so just leaving the airport here now in paris we're going to be flying off and we're going to be going to land in england so it's not too far to fly so hopefully we won't take too long on this plane but we're going to take the plane on the champions league fixture we've got coming in now into london he threw a couple of hours later and we're going to be getting into this game very soon indeed guys as you can see in the champions league this season nine games played five goals scored and four assists as well and we can see on this one as well currently sitting third in the squad rankings I really don't understand how that works because I've been on form all season getting pretty good stats and goals and assists and I just still haven't overtaken either of the top two players the, with the likes of Ferrati and Neymar which is a bit annoying but as you can see here guys we are arriving here at Stamford Bridge for the semi-finals and as you can see Manchester United winning 3-1 against Inter for their game guys so that means they are looking like they're going to be going into the finals if we can win this game we'll be playing against Manchester United for the looks of it in the final unless Inter can turn it around players to watch here today are the likes of this man here Eden Hazard who's going to be a big threat for Chelsea and the man himself here for us PSG is our very own Jesus Garcia which is us guys we are looking really dangerous this season hopefully we can convert some more goals we've got this game against Chelsea here the first leg of this quarter uh, this semi-final we've got they are starting with a 4-3-3 with Morata, Martins and Hazard they've got Kante, uh, De Vere, and Bak Goyako, and then they've got Samodo, Regia, Aspilicueta, and Alonso at the back there. So they're looking pretty dangerous in this game, guys. So we're not definitely can't doubt them in this one. As for Paris, um, we've got a pretty strong lineup. So we've got Di Maria once again starting on the right. We've got Jesus Neymar, Henderson, and Zonzi, Karak. Frozza, Company, Marquinhos, Garcia, and Arialoa in goal as well. So a pretty dangerous lineup from both sides here today. No re no wonder they're both in the semi-finals. They've both done well to get here, guys. So don't underestimate either of these two teams. We've got two legs to play here. And this is going to be the away fixture for us. So this is our chance to score a goal and hopefully use that to our advantage and push our way into the final and uh, have a better chance off in the second leg as well if we can get either a draw or a decent win here we will be looking very positive for the second leg guys let's see how we go in this game though getting underway now Chelsea here at home at Stamford Bridge against the big PSG which is Neymar's side and Jesus Garcia side guys here we go in the game underway now Jesus Garcia on the ball in the first minute of the game comes the first highlight coming through the middle areas and now we've got a good chance pushing forward into the central locations and Zonzi tries to let it through there but getting a good tackle is the defender Di Maria wins this one back tries to to get this one up the wing here waits on the edge lays it there to Jesus Garcia Jesus Garcia is holding it up nicely on the edge of the area lays it there to Nzonzi Nzonzi 1-2 with Henderson and Jesus Garcia takes the shot and it just doesn't quite make it past Courtois easy save for him into his hands and here we come with the next chance of the game now guys it's coming forward and now we're going to get forward with Jesus Garcia on the ball laying it forward to Henderson who puts it up to Neymar on the left wing here we've got a good chance coming forward now and Zonzi on the ball can he lay this one forward he's got a good chance here Di Maria on the ball we're running into the box we've got Frozza laid back here to Jesus Garcia takes a really good turn there tries to take a shot on the snap spin and it's just gone over the bar very good first attempt in this game guys only took 27 minutes but just skimming the top of the crossbar going out of play for a goal kick here it comes Chelsea now 40 minutes in with their first real chance of the game can they put this one in the back of the net here they're getting tackled and the ball manages to make its way out of the defense and no but no Morata has won this one back here's a chance back for Chelsea can they do it here Kante with the shot and it's gone and easily been saved by the goalkeeper guys 43 minutes into this one now the next chance is coming now for Chelsea once again taking a really nice shot there from the touchdown of that free kick and it's gone out of play for a corner kick here so a good save from the goalkeeper and here we come into the halftime mark in this game now guys and we're going to be heading in 
currently at a nil nil standstill at the moment in this game we are not doing too bad away from home to Chelsea hopefully we can hold this until the rest of the game is finished guys it's looking pretty tricky out there though we've only had one real shot in the game and they've had a couple on target as well which is looking pretty dangerous for Chelsea so it's a pretty even game here so hopefully we can turn this one around soon and get some goals to really show why we are here in the Champions League guys can we do it now with this chance Jesus Garcia on the wall looking to get this one forward who goes back here now to Nzonzi he throws it through to Jesus Garcia he's going to take a chance here opens up the space has the shot across goal Katoa makes a great save and it's going to be pushed out of play and gone up for a corner kick no it's been tackled back by Neymar who lays it there to Jesus Garcia can we get this one forward getting tackled there and it's gone out for a throw and unfortunately guys here comes Chelsea with the next chance 60 minutes into this one Morata laying it nicely there to Jelson Martins can he put this one in the box here he's laid it really nicely into the box there a stumble up from the defence and we have paid the ultimate price here guys Eden Hazard going and scoring the goal for Chelsea to make it 1-0 in this game away from home to Chelsea in the Champions League semi-final first leg and Eden Hazard has gone and scored the first opening goal here Martins racing in there puts the ball into the back post a bit of a stumble up from the defender and the goalkeeper goalkeeper falls over Hazard easily swoops that one into the back of the net for an open goal finish for his sixth goal in the Champions League this season in the 61st minute of this game guys very very disappointing from PSG's defense bit of a muddle up there and uh, here comes Marco Verratti coming on the pitch there trying to make a difference in this game can he do it for PSG guys can we turn this game around before the final whistle we haven't got long left we've got about 25 minutes to go and hopefully we can do that now here comes a chance though for Chelsea pushing forward again Morata on the ball getting a good tackle in there as Vincent Company, but the ball goes back to Morata again puts it in the box a great chance here to go 2-0 up and Kante's block uh, Kante's shot gets blocked by the defense and it's gone out of play there guys continuing on now in the 76th minute and just total dominance from Chelsea at the moment Martins there led to Morata who takes a very very poor snapshot on that one and it goes out of play for a cold kick guys coming forward with the next chance of the game now here it is it's coming for Chelsea in the 84th minute there's only a couple of minutes left to go in this game he's running on the ball there opening up the space really well they've got a great chance he's kind of pushed it a bit far but he's taking the chance across goal he should have put that one in the back of the net there in the 85th minute guys still 1-0 to Chelsea luckily for PSG and we're going to be pushing into the last four minutes of this one now cool still currently at 1-0 in this one are they going to get another one here Martins on the ball that looks to lay it central great piece of play from him to get past two defenders Lays it on a plate and the midfielder cannot put that one away guys what a chance that was 88 minutes in domination by Chelsea here just managed to get it away PSG but no we've lost it once again 90 minutes in Goska there laying it nicely to Martins Martins tries to get it back and the ball goes and lands to the PSG player but there goes the full time whistle in this game guys just as we were throwing on goal as well we've gone away from home to Chelsea and got a 1-0 loss which is not what we were expecting all is not over yet though guys it's only 1-0 it is their home game so it's the home goal doesn't count for too much yet we've got the away fixture to play in the next episode for them sorry which is our home fixture back in Paris guys what is going to happen in that game it's going to be a very interesting one in the next episode so make sure you stay tuned and you're going to be here to watch that one because I need your help and support as we head on into that game guys let me know down in the comments below any thoughts and ideas for the end of this series guys as you can see here to lose coming up next in this episode on the 9th of May which is going to be a big game and also guys about the yacht that we are think uh, we are going to be getting as soon as we get 1 million guys uh as you can see from the money counter, we've got £552,000 in the bank account. And just there, it ticks over and hits a £1 million, guys. So we're going to go and call the yacht people looking now and make a make an order of a yacht, which is going to be dropped off at the end of this episode, which we're going to go and collect. And we're going to get Jenny over there to propose to on the yacht for the first time, guys. So you'll see that at the end of this episode and the start of the next episode, as well as the Champions League in the next episode. So it's going to be a big one. As you can see here, arriving back in PSG after leaving London here, throw after that game against Chelsea guys a pretty big game and uh, we go and lose 1-0 which is really frustrating but guys right now coming up we've got the very special advert for you guys to see on the TV and as you can see here we are just arriving back home and we spent some time relaxing here at home with Jenny just on the couch she has no idea about the proposal yet so that's going to be really interesting and uh, I'm quite happy with how things are going guys just wanted to ask your thoughts and predictions on for the poll today guys what do you think is going to happen this season are we going to be finishing with no trophies are we going to finish with a, a, a single trophy a double trophy or the treble guys what are your predictions for our winnings this season we've got many things we can be winning if we can do it we'll wait and see let me know your thoughts and suggestions in the comments and hit up the poll for your prediction answer guys here we are though just watching tv and then we're getting into the advert from nike as you can see here watching on the tv now
Wow, guys, that was pretty cool. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below. That little Nike advert there. I wasn't sure how I should approach the advert, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. It's just a little extra clip to add in for a bit of fun there, guys. But that was it. That was the Nike ad that we got to do for them alongside some other players, famous players in the world, which we got to meet when we were there, which is really cool. The likes of Ronaldinho and um, a few other great players, as you saw, in, like De Bruyne and Hazard as well, guys. As you can see, the game coming up now. We've got Toulouse FC. And as you can see from the table, guys, this is the big thing coming in towards the end of the season we've got a game in hand against Bordeaux at the top of the table here but we are currently sitting one point behind them so we need to make sure we get a draw at least to go level or a win to make sure we go top guys it's going to be really interesting and like we asked you just before with the poll in this episode guys number one oh do you your predictions so let us know your predictions for a bit of fun we'll see how we go towards the end of the season guys do we get no trophies which actually isn't possible because we've already got one but i'm going to put it there as a thing anyway just to fill up the slots and uh, two a single trophy which is the one we've already got now which means we don't win the league or the champions league or do we get the double which is option number three and if we do that means we're either going to win the champions league or the league guys but not both or we're going to do the treble guys and win the champions league and the um uh, league as well as the one we've already won. I don't know if you saw that guys, but that guy got very distracted then just from ran into the pedestrian and they just drove off and he ran away. Such a random little occurrence there. That's really funny. But guys, as you can see here, just arriving at the stadium for this game here at home against Toulouse FC in this afternoon's fixture guys hopefully we can get a win out of this one guys there's not long left to go in the season and it's going to be a big game here so hopefully we can do what we can to get the three points on the table if we can score some goals that'd be awesome we lost our last game against Chelsea in this episode which is really really not good and as you can see Bordeaux doing really well this season guys they're a game in hand we have got not far to go to catch up to them if we can do that we will have a very good chance of winning the league this season as you can see guys the usual lineup for PSG we've got Lucas back in on the right wing Jesus Neymar Henderson Karak and Zonzi in the midfield Loten Kimbempe Marquinhos and Gris back at the back with Ariello and goal as well so another usual dangerous lineup for PSG. As for Toulouse, guys, they've got Lafont in goal, who's one of the top keepers in the league besides Aria Loa. And we are currently sitting on a very interesting looking 4-4-1-1 formation from them. And uh, they've got the likes of Yannick Sonogo up top for them. And uh, they've got a couple other interesting players like Diop in their lineup as well. So we've got to watch out for those kind of players, guys, as well as the goalkeeper Lafont, who's going to be playing really well in this game, I am sure. So hopefully we can get some goals past him today. If we can, that'll be really good. We've got the likes of Lucas back in the squad, guys, who has been playing pretty well this season he's been scoring quite a few goals lately and hopefully we can make sure he gets on the score sheet again because if we can and we can get a couple wins the three points will be ours and we'll be one step closer to the end of the season one step closer to the league this season guys as well as the champions league but as a very interesting thing now losing the champions league semi-final against chelsea first leg means we're gonna have to work extra hard at home and not concede that's for sure to get a decent result against them to maybe correct us to the final guys what do you think is going to happen 17 minutes into this game now a chance coming for Toulouse they get the ball down there but not quite far enough and the ball is going to be headed clear by the PSG players guys 17 minutes in it's gone out for what looks like a corner kick but well, we're continuing on with this game now 23 minutes in Henderson on the ball letting it forward there Gene getting an interception in and they're pushing their way forward Sonogo puts it forward there they've got a really good chance coming into the space and the keeper comes out at very and uh, makes a very good well timed save and we're gone. I'm going to chuck this one away and continue up the pitch. Now, guys, here comes the next chance. 31st minute here for Toulouse FC. They're pushing forward on the ball now. Can they get this one in? Yeah, yeah. On the ball now. Looks to get the turn in there. A very good pass there and a great shot. A great save by the goalkeeper. And it's gone out for a corner kick for us, guys. And uh, can we turn this one around now with a goal of our own? 42 minutes into this game. And it looks like it's going to be a free kick here, which is interesting. Can someone do some a chance from this free kick here, guys? It's going to be Neymar stepping up for this one. Unfortunately, not Jesus or anyone else. But Neymar stepping up for this one to make it 1-0 in this game. PSG against Toulouse. Dear. That did not go even anywhere near on target. I don't know what Neymar was thinking, guys. I still think he's been having a pretty rubbish season, which is pretty funny. But guys, also in the next episode, if you haven't heard already, there's a lot going on in the next episode. We've got that Champions League game coming up against Chelsea. We've got the proposal with Jenny coming up in the next episode. We've got Santi's trial coming up in the next episode, guys. Let me know what you think about all that. Here we come with the next chance. It's going to be coming for PSG in this game. It's going to be a bit of a silly chance because I forgot to press record, guys. But it's going to be a goal. Look at this from Neymar. We've gone and scored here. 1-0 on the scoreline against Toulouse FC. The recording messed up a bit. But then we are getting the goal. 
and with PSG have gone 1-0 up with a very nice little goal and Zonzi with the assist there from Neymar's goal and gets a little high five here from Jesus Garcia and another one there for the midfielder guys not a bad goal unfortunately we didn't get to see the whole thing but if we watch the replay in a second we'll get to see the build up a little bit better of what happened with that goal look at this coming forward here was Jesus Garcia pushing into the space looks to cut inside lays it central there to Nzonzi and Zonzi passes it straight to um, Neymar and he goes to 6 in the back of the net to make it 1-0 in this game in the 60th minute of this one guys his 8th goal of the season which is really good he's actually scoring quite a few goals which is surprising for the lack of lack of quality he's been putting in this season as you can see though Marco Verratti coming onto the pitch now to replace Nzonzi who just got the assist 1-0 up on the scoreline 60 minutes in 30 minutes to go can we turn this game around now? Come on, PSG. Can we keep this one for once and get the three points? Here we come forward with the next chance of the game now. Jesus Garcia pushing through his man here. We've got a really good chance running into the space. Opening up the space from distance here. Can Jesus Garcia take a shot from the distance? And he does. And it's just gone wide of the goal and out of play into the crowd. Unfortunately for him, guys, we're approaching the end of this game now. Los Celos, uh, Los Celso is coming on to the pitch now to make a difference here for PSG and hold this defensive line for us, guys. 78 minutes in. All we need to do is hold this one no win and we will have a really good chance here heading on into the final couple of games in the league guys come on forward here we come child with a chance for Neymar shot gets blocked and put out a play for a corner kick and here comes the corner now 80 minutes into this game the ball comes into the box there good chance for the limp post doesn't quite make it far enough and then we come laying it back to Jesus Garcia on the edge of the box here, trying to recycle this position and make something of it. But the ball's hit the defender and got out of play for a goal kick. Here we come with the next chance now. 87 minutes in, pushing forward with Lucas on the right wing. Now we've got a good chance with Jesus Garcia running into the box. One twos with Lucas back again from Lucas. Jesus Garcia on the ball now to make it 2 0 in this game. Lays it there to Verratti. And Verratti's shot, as good as it was, gets saved by the goalkeeper and gets pushed out of play for a corner kick, guys. 90 minutes in. The final whistle was upon us. If we can hold this 1-0 lead for a couple more minutes we will gain all three points and there goes the final whistle in this game guys a very very relieved PSG side here today a very happy one as well three points on the table as we head into the final two fixtures I think of the league season as well as the last Champions League semi-final match if we can win that one we will be heading into the final and it's going to be a pretty interesting one if we can manage to do that guys so let me know your predictions on the poll up in the top right hand corner guys if you haven't already let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and suggestions for anything you want to see happening before the series finishes and also the new my players and stuff if you want to see anything to do with those guys it's going to be pretty cool as you can see here guys we're at the park this places and there's one more thing we're going to do in this episode before we finish it up coming up in the next episode we have got the semi-finals at home uh, against Chelsea as you can see that on the 12th of May so we're right at the end of the season now guys almost finished and then we're going to game against Stad Renes there on the 16th of May which is going to be in that episode as you can see here guys we've also got the big league table which shows that we are currently sitting top which is really nice and uh, hopefully we can hold that till the end of the season guys with the last remaining fixtures if we can hold that um, score right to the end of, of the time we will have a really really good chance of winning the league this season as well as possibly the Champions League guys but as you can see here leaving the stadium and now skipping past some of the traffic guys we're going to be heading off we got a phone call just as we were leaving the stadium from the play um, from the guys who delivered the yacht and they said it's here so I'm driving off down to the docks guys and as I was in my car I quickly gave Jenny a little bit of a uh, a quick call just to ask out where she was and I told her to come and meet me here down at the docks I wouldn't tell her why or what we were doing she was like okay it's a bit weird but I'll come down to the docks and see you so guys she She's on her way down here now and I'm going to take her out on the, a speedboat and go out to the yacht and in the next episode we will be proposing to Jenny on the yacht guys it's going to be pretty pretty crazy what do you think about that guys what do you think is going to happen is she going to say yes let me know down in the comments below here she comes now in the white car at the back as you can see slowly approaching here our location guys we're going to finish this episode off just in a second guys so give us a like share and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, just before we see Jenny I will see you guys in the next episode but guys it's going to be pretty crazy this next one so make sure you stay tuned for it. it's going to be crazy as you can see here, there goes uh, Jenny. She's just arrived here. So we're going to go see her and we're going to finish this episode off. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.